When learning is limited to only a classroom experience, the problem that arises is a lack of understanding that supports opinions that we start to generate about one another. Seattle is unique in that its geography separates people naturally. People facing off, completely not knowing anything about each other, what cultures are all about, what neighborhoods are all about. We're a region that is undergoing tremendous change, and yet we need to be rooted to a sense of place, and we need to find the best of our past and make sure that lives on into the future, and then we need to come together and build that future. A lot of people think of a history museum as just telling history, but actually we are a community convener. And I think it's so important that our community can come together and talk about these very real issues that are facing our community today. I walk out onto the floor of the museum and I see hundreds of kids every day engaging with history. This is hands-on learning. This is not what you get in a book. This is a chance to really connect with the stuff of history, to be inspired by the men and women who shaped our world, and to see that you have a chance to build the future. Teachers often tell us that the students in their class that are disengaged or maybe a little bit shy light up and become different students while they're at Mohai. And I think that having fun is a big part of that. In education, curiosity is key. I can tell you about something, but for you to really get excited about it or for it to click, you really have to see it and feel it. 90% of the young people who visit Mohai leave that program knowing more about their local history, knowing more about civics, and knowing more about their role in our community. That's real learning, and it's happening every day at Mohai. The students get to explore historical artifacts in a hands-on way, and it really gives them a chance to participate in the process of history. Through that, they're developing their critical thinking skills, they're working on teamwork, and I think that that aspect of the kids actually getting to make something happen in the museum gives them a sense of ownership and really makes them feel comfortable in that space. We make sure that every young person had the ability to experience Mohai regardless of financial challenges or limitations. We call it our scholarship program. It's really a way to open the door to history, to open the door to Mohai to every kid in the region. Imagine a world where a kid can see himself becoming the next Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. We have this culture of innovation in Seattle, and we highlight that, we celebrate it, we talk about it, we teach it, and I think that is one of the things that makes Mohai really special. Mohai is a private museum. That means that every time a young person comes in to learn, every time we take a trunk to a classroom or open a great new exciting exhibit, that's being supported by our donors. On behalf of those public schools out there that have never been on a field trip, and because of your generous gifts, they can come to Mohai. And that gets them started in understanding their city and feeling like they belong. Those students that we're bringing in for free because of donor support, I think that those school programs are a bridge to those students and then to their families. And we see those students bringing their families back because they feel like this is a safe place where they belong. And that's, a, that's something that's really special to me. I'm really proud that I can walk into Mohai and see the story of my family. Mohai is so important to me personally, and I think it's really important to the future of this city, and I thank everybody who has given to Mohai and who is considering giving a gift to Mohai.